Hello. Hello, family. Long time no see. I just wanted to get on here real quick and just try to encourage um, the body because of a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, I don't know if uh, any of you, probably I'm sure some of you have heard about the um, the animals across the globe going in a circle, just a constant circle. And um, they've been going in this circle for like at least two weeks now straight, just walking in a circle. And it started out with just a group of sheep okay um but now there's different animals um horses um i heard rumor fish i mean it was and then some other animals you know ground animals but y'all this something things like this that are unexplainable you just it's you gotta realize is spiritual okay now man will try to come up with its own thing because usually that's how it goes anything that man can't explain in their finite thinking they tend to like to try especially when it's something spiritual that has something to do with the most high they try to explain it away you know they try to, um, like, say, for instance, just, just case in point, this scenario with the, the, the animals going in a circle, they didn't came up with some word called a circling, a circling disease. How dumb. How dumb. <laughs> How dumb does that sound? A circling disease, really, that's the best they could come up with? To try to explain the obvious away, they know what it is. They just don't, they just not don't want to admit it. They're never going to just come out right front and say, "Yes, it's a work of the uh, uh, the Most High God. He's, you know, showing signs that He's coming soon." No, they're they're, they're never going to do that, people. So when you see them uh, like doing that, always trying to explain it away. Um. Sorry. Um, you know that it's, it's not true. It doesn't negate the truth of what's really going on. Okay. Um, these animals, you know, they like to t take sheep as being the dumbest and one of the dumbest animals, right? Like they don't have no brains or something. And that's why they always try to say, talk about Christians and, you know, followers of Christ as sheep. I'd be a sheep any day and, and be on um, and be in eternity with my father any day as a sheep. I don't worry about what people say about me. I never have been that type of person to care what anyone think of me and what, what they say. I, I could care less because they're not doing... They don't have no heaven or hell to put me in. They don't have no kingdom. So you ain't paying my bills. You ain't, you know, so I could care less. You know, people going to say, talk about you when you're doing good or whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad. They talked about the most high. So who am I? You know, so you just got to let it roll off your back. Like, psh, just, uh, just dust your shoulder and... It's, you know, misery loves company. So when people try to belittle per people, this be, it's just a deflection of what's going on inside of them. So you can't, you have to really be mature enough to just instantly just say, you know what, okay, yeah, he, he, she got some stuff going on. So she, they taking that out on me. I ain't got, I ain't done nothing to them for them to be coming at me or coming for me like that. You know, when they, people like that, they got their own internal issues so you just gotta pray for them sometimes it's hard but when you realize it's not about you you know it's about the most high trying to get you to a place where you need to be in him 
then you just you learn and i'm still learning that y'all i mean i haven't arrived with that i i'm still a work in progress daily letting stuff roll off my back like a water off a duck's back it's it's just easier said sometimes than done because people can really push some buttons but greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world excuse me but back to you know these signs these are the signs like acts and acts he talks about um there will be signs in the heaven and in the earth um you know in the sun and the moon the stars is before his coming y'all he's coming soon i'll be i'll be telling y'all that on my videos but it's even more close now these animals i believe is a really big wake-up call to get people to see you know no they, they this is something it's more to this it's more to this it's not no circling disease it's not no polar shift it's that happens every 10,000 years when the earth only been here about six. I mean, people want to believe everything of what man say, you know, they trust man over the most high God, you know? So it's like, when you hear them talking about a million years and a billion years, come on. You can't put your trust. He tells us not to put our trust in man. Okay. Period. You're supposed to trust the most high y'all. Because, you know, <sighs> I, it's, I could just go on and on about that, but I'm, I'm not. Um, I just want you guys to be encouraged because it's almost about to be a wrap. He is about to crack that sky, y'all. I could feel it. i really been feeling it for the last couple years, but... I already know what he told me back in 2001. So I know he's coming. It's this generation, y'all. It's this generation because he told me, his audible voice back in 2001, that my redemption was nigh. That's what he told me in my bed. I was not asleep. He woke me up with his voice telling me that. My first experience hearing his audible voice, he still talks to people in, in, in the 21st century, yes. So, it's a privilege. I, I, I don't take it lightly um, that he speak. He spoke to me. He's, he's given me a vision. I asked him for a vision back a couple of years ago. He, he showed me a vision. I had my first vision. It was in 3D. It was like 3D. Um, so, he shows himself to be real. If you really... You know, even back in 2001, I wasn't really where I am now spiritually, but he know he knew where I would be. Excuse me. He knew where I would be spiritually in him and the work the work I would be doing for him in the kingdom back then in 2001, even though, you know, and I just thank him for sparing me and, you know, having mercy on me. Excuse me, having mercy on me and showing me grace even in my ignorance and in my stubborn ways and you know, because when people count you out, the most high, he, he already knows your future. So you don't know at the time when you're going through things. It's like the most high already got you. You don't even know. You're just going through stuff like, dang, you know, is he is he listening to me? Yes. He, is he there? Yes. You know, he said he will never leave nor forsake us. Okay. Those that are truly connected to him. So we we're going to experience life in this world in this flesh he tells us many are the afflictions of the righteous but he will deliver us out of them all whether it's on this side of heaven or the other side he promises to deliver us out of our afflictions so it's it's not abnormal for the true followers of christ to go through things that's just part of the process you just gotta just you know be encouraged and just stay in his word, trust his word, learn his word, read his word. And so you can apply it to your life, your daily life. Because his word is applicable today and in any day or any generation, it's going to always be applicable and relevant. But I am so excited because he's coming. He's coming. He said... So when he told me my redemption was near, that means all my other brothers and sisters in Christ, y'all, our redemption is near. I, 
You know, I don't know what he's told other people, but that's what he told me. And so when I look back at that and have that testimony, it's just all I can do is just say thank you just for giving me that opportunity to know that just look up, look up. Because he says that's what he tells us in his word, to look up for your redemption draws nigh. And that's what he told me, y'all. So that's what I'm saying. He's coming. It's, it's saints out here don't, don't believe in the rapture and all that. That's fine. You'll just be left here. And you'll have to go through some things. Because you chose to believe man and not or you just your own thinking and thoughts about the most high God's word and... His word was vivid. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's vivid. So, and that's why it's important to have the Holy Spirit because he's the one that's going to lead us, lead us into all truth and show us things to come. Those truly connected to him. John 16, 13. So, yeah, I just came on here real quick to let y'all know what y'all hearing. That's supernatural. You know, there's nothing, it's nothing natural about these animals that's going in a circle like that and nonstop for weeks, for days, let alone weeks. So um, it's a sign of his coming. He's, it's like the day, he said, just as the days of Noah, so shall the son of man um, be, he will come. So. Whatever's going on now, that's how it was in the days of Noah. Okay, only we just modern, more modern with our with 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 the uh, iniquities and sins and things. And if you really think about when the Most High sent His judgment judgments back in those dispensations. It was it was always when violence and abominations and chaos were at their peak. That's when he sent his judgment. That's what I'm saying. It's time, people. It's time. It's finally time. And just we just gotta make sure and pray that we're on the right side and in his will when things jump off because he's gonna spare his remnant, his true remnant. In Revelation three ten and Luke twenty one thirty six he tells us that, you know, he's gonna spare us from those things that are coming to this earth. And what people don't realize he's already preordained the remnant, how he has it gonna have it split up. There's going to be part of the remnant that's going to be caught up and raptured with him to the marriage supper of the Lamb, which is in Revelation 19.9. And the marriage supper of the Lamb is by invitation only. You read it. Read it yourself. And it's just like any wedding. Some, Well, not all weddings are invitation only. Some, you know, this is a private event. <laughs> it's for the elites that are, he selected for that event. To come up to his kingdom in um, in heaven, you know, just temporarily, we're gonna be up there to be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. There's a part of the remnant that will be there. Not all saints are invited to that. I'm sorry, y'all. My nose is just dripping. No, I'm not sick. The devil is a liar. But um, we got funny weather here. But anyway. It's just like I was saying, not all saints will be at the, be raptured up, you know, to the marriage supper of the Lamb. No more than not all 10 virgins were invited to that wedding feast that in that parable in Matthew 25, 1 through 13. Read it. It was five foolish virgins and five wise virgins. They were all virgins, but they all weren't ready. You just that's comparable to what the rapture is going to be today, people. When it happens today, not all saints going to be ready for that because there's going to be some for not going because they don't believe in it. It's going to be some people not going because they've been having one foot in the world, one in the church. Um, it's going to be so so many reasons why so many saints are going to be left behind from the imminent rapture. 
So that's one part of the remnant. The other part, part of the remnant are going to be martyrs, okay? According to Revelation 20 and 4. He's already preordained who those people are that's going to die for him. Some have already started dying from, for him over in the third world countries. It's soon going to be global, people. It's, we're embarking upon that time. So I said, people don't realize we are living literally in the book of Revelation. We are literally fur much further along in Bible prophecy than many saints want to believe and think. They're still thinking that, no, the rapture's not going to happen until um, after the peace treaty is signed or, or after the rebuilding of the temple. And there's no word of scripture that says that has to happen for us to be raptured or however they have it switched around. It's like those things have to happen first. I think that's what it that's what it is. They think those things have to happen first before we can be raptured. No, it's no it doesn't say that nowhere in scripture. Matter of fact, I really believe we're gonna be gone when those things happen. Cause he tells us in Revelation three ten he's gonna spare us from the worst to come. If we're still here when there's still the worst to come, then that's not him. He's not keeping his word in Revelation 3.10 and Luke 21.36. And the devil is a liar. Let Yah be true and, all, and every man a liar, Romans 3 and 4. So if his word said that his word would not return to him void people, we have to know his word. We have to be full of the Holy Spirit so we can understand his word and be able to rightly divide the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, Isaiah 28 and 10. So we have to get that word in our hearts that we might not sin against him and that we are able to apply what we know. Not just reading it, not just quoting it, but actually living it. And... Um, yeah, the ten virgins, they weren't all ready. Just only five were. So, um, that's who, that's what you can compare the rapture to with the ten pair, the, the ten virgins. That's, it's, it's, it's almost identical. So that's how you know there is a rapture and that's how it's going to go down. In Matthew 24, 40 through 42, describes specifically how it's going to go down. One will be taken and one will be left. And people want to lie on and say the word taken means killed. In no language will you find the word killed to mean, to mean taken to mean killed. Even a fifth grader knows that. There is no definition that you will find or synonym that's going to, that's going to reflect being killed. And people that like to use Noah that people were taken in the flood and that's the reason why they say that. That is taking the context of the scripture out of, you're taking that word taken out, out of context to try to negate the rapture. Those are two different scenarios. It has nothing to, that taken in that verse has nothing to do with the taken in um, Matthew 24, 40 through 42. So the ones taken are not being killed. You want to be taken. People say, no, you don't want to be taken. You want to be left here. Left here on the earth to do what? Be set up for the Antichrist the Antichrist and his kingdom and, and martyrdom, martyrdom down here. So think about it. Come on, think. If you're left here and you think that's a good thing to be left here on this earth, in, in the new kingdom, I mean, the new Jerusalem, the new world or new earth, none of that has taken place yet. Why would you want to be left here for all of the worst to come? Don't make sense. Matthew 24, 21 tells us the worst is yet coming. And it's getting worse by the day. Violence is really getting at at an all time high. Deception at an all time high. Abominable abominable things at an all time high. A lot of Satanism is going on now at an all time high. You know where the U S has uh, allowed Satan education into the country. Um, even starting at the ages of five, they're bringing that education for them to not so much to 
convert them to Satanism, but to educate them, to educate them, right? Like that's not giving them an option. That's, they're trying to give them an option to say, hey, just like there's an option to be a Christian, okay, you have an option to be a Satanist. That's how that's the seeds they're plant, planting in these the children today. And it's a it's a tragedy. I couldn't have I'm so glad I don't have any school agers that I would have to concern myself and work con daily to have my child go a get up against something of, of this evil demonic system, this antichrist system. It's like throwing them in the lion's den. And people say, I would just homeschool. You you can homeschool. That's great because you don't have to subject them to those surroundings of what they're going to be bringing into those schools concerning those things. But at the same time, you still going to have to have the curriculum. The educational part, you're going to have to, they're going to make it to where you have to have, you know how you have to have certain credits to graduate. They're going to make sure that's going to be a requirement to graduate. That your child has to learn that Satanism, that that L, that ends in T acronym. Yeah, those are going to be requirements to graduate, y'all. The devil is a lie. Parents, you're going to have to really teach your children. Like, everything starts at home anyway. You guys going to have to really, if you have school-agers that's, in those impressionable years, start now teaching them about Christ and his standards and his ways and his laws and that and teach them salvation and that they can, you know, because they're souls too. You know, granted, they don't know a lot, but kids are, are, are very bright today. They're very smart. They're, you know, so they can, they, they have an understanding. You just, you know, have to break it down to them for their understanding, but whew, more power to y'all. Godspeed to y'all, parents with babies and coming up today. Ah, uh, I do not envy you. My baby, Lord willing, will be 28 in a month. Yes. So I got her in there just at, in, in the nick of time. I brought her in this world just in the nick of time before all this hell broke, broke loose. And it's, it's like I said, it's only going to get worse. So, you know, whatever she decides at this point is that's I've done my job. She can never say she didn't know. So whatever life way path she chooses, that's on her. That's between her and the most high. He tells, he tells us to train them up in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart. His word is true. So I'm still praying for her deliverance too. You know, she has her ways and she has to figure it out. Just like I had to figure it out. Just like a lot of us had to figure it out. You know, it's just by his grace and mercy that he kept us. Because he knew our future. So... Yeah, just want to come and encourage y'all. It's it's about to be a wrap. We about to fly, y'all. It's and whatever happens, you don't want to be here when when all hell break loose. I was going to say the third part, other part of the remnant that has to that he's gonna he has has separated is some people he gonna have going into the wilderness. There's go he's gonna do it again, like he did um when he had Moses to part that Red Sea to for the children um of Israel to, to go through that on dry, you know, land. He's gonna do it again. Read it in Isaiah eleven. He's gonna do it again, y'all. I don't know how he's gonna do it. Only, only the most high, y'all knows that, but he's going to do it again. So if you don't make the rapture, you better hope you make the, at least the wilderness. I don't know what's going to be in the wilderness because the wilderness don't sound like it's going to be too fun. But I don't know how he going to do that. 
but that's how he'll have this remnant separated until we're all together in the new kingdom, in the new Jerusalem, reigning on the earth with him. But that's a whole nother subject. But that's all I want to come on here and tell y'all. It's 25 minutes, so I'm going to get on off. But them, y'all look up them um, circling animals across the globe. That is nothing normal or natural about that. But supernatural. It's spiritual, y'all. I don't, don't let nobody tell y'all differently. That ain't nothing but Satan trying to distract you from the truth of, you know, the Most High. Because he's soon to come. He's finally soon to come. He's finally coming for us, y'all. I'm so sleepy. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be up. But I might watch me a little TV before I go to bed. And um, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. That's why I love coming on here and uh, encourage you guys and give you what that says the Lord and and what's going on in the world. So you could um, what is that on my hand? Um, so you can uh, be right, be ready. So um, that's all I have for now. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know some people have their own opinions about it, but you guys heard mine and what I feel that it is, is spiritual. But I would like to know your thoughts if you want to talk about it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I missed you guys. So you just be encouraged. Be blessed. Be safe. And most of all, be ready.